previously on RL Graph. Did they get stuck in the roof? Whoa! Dude, look how much damage the bow does! The bow, like, four shots him! Alright, I can't hit him now. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead, oh my god. Dead. Just like that, dead. That's insane. That's so insane. Look at that. We killed three withers, three nether stars, and 32 crystal shards. That's pretty good. <gasps> no! What is this? Oh no, this is... Oh, my chunks just reloaded too. This is bad. Hi, friends. Oh, there's... Oh, there's so many... Dude, I hope it didn't spawn anything on, on the surface as well. They could kill my villagers and my dogs. And if I go up there and everything's dead, I'm gonna be so triggered. Don't forget to catch Pain live on Twitch tomorrow, the 10th of November at 5 p.m. EST. What is up, everyone? And welcome back to episode 21 of RL Craft. Got a bunch of news. So we did use some of those levels after the last episode, and I, I decided to bring back the, the diamond shield. Someone in the comments had recommended it and get um, natural blocking. And I did get one un three, Unbreaking 3 book. I can put on one of these pieces of armor. Probably my boots because they take a lot of the damage. Hopefully they're not going to be too expensive. They shouldn't be, but we'll see. Um, and then I've also got natural blocking too. And I actually got lucky on my shield and got natural blocking too on it as well. So we can just go over here, pop it right on here and give it natural blocking. What should we name it? Also, let me know down in the comments if you get this reference. If you get this reference, you're amazing. I'm gonna call it Double Wide Surprise. Double Wide Surprise, the Unbreaking 3, Natural Blocking 3 shield. It's gonna be dope. I gotta get used to walking around with the shield in my hand again. But yeah, Natural Blocking will allow it to uh, take some of the damage for me, and it instead deals to the durability of the shield. So that's... that's pretty dope. Um... Also, I have what I need in my inventory to make a bookworm analyzer, which is what we're going to use for this episode, where we're going to go out and make a bookworm farm and hopefully find some golden bookworms so we can start farming mending, which would be absolutely perfect. But first, if you're new to the channel and you like the series, I would love if you could subscribe. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subs by the end of the year, and it would really make my day. Also, we're going to add another 100 like goal to this video, if we can get 100 likes, you would also make me super happy. I love all of you, and I love all you guys do for me. You guys are amazing, and I really do hope that this uh, series brings you guys some joy every now and then, you know? But, yep, we're gonna make the bookworm analyzer. Boom! I don't know how to actually use this thing. I, I need to take this shield out of my hand. Oh, I'm not used to that. That's not gonna be fun. I think you right-click it on a bookworm. So, yeah, they have digesting time. Enchanting level 3, digested levels 2, ready to mate. Um, that does not help me very much, but we're gonna go to the, it's actually nighttime, which is kind of perfect. We're gonna go to the defiled land that's really close to our house and see if we can find some more of these guys. Um, maybe, I don't know if they have any natural predators. Maybe I should make them like an outside area where they can kind of just chill instead of bringing them all into my house, especially since my house is a cluster right now. There's some scuttlers. Oh, here we go. What about you? Um, enchanting level 6. I don't know what the maximum level is. This guy? Enchanting level 4, so let's assume 6 is good, right? You got him? Yeah. I gotta be careful those stupid pixies don't steal my stuff. Um, there also is a chance that we can get a gold variant of this to spawn. And those variants actually drop treasure enchants, so um, I think advanced looting is a treasure enchant. Not sure. If you guys know in the comments, that'd be super helpful. Um, but I do, I do know that mending and advanced mending are treasure enchants, just like in regular Minecraft, how mending is only typically only found in the end. I think I don't think you can get mending other in other places except for the end. Besides trading from villagers, that is. Of course you can trade from villagers. Uh, so we're gonna drop this boy. And we need to... I guess get some fence? We're just gonna make a little fenced-in area for these guys. I'm really scared they're gonna get attacked by something. In the future, when we do build our big base, we're going to make, um... We're gonna make our base... 
everything's gonna be inside, right? If we have mobs that we're using, they're gonna be inside because I know how super dangerous this game can actually be and I think I'm good on losing valuable stuff, you know? All right, let's give you a nice little fenced in area. No, no. Why do they always do? Oh, he's going. He's a runner. Oh, he's a runner. Get, get your butt back, boy. Do not make me. Uh, he can't fit through there anyways. Stupid nerd. Get out of my face. All right, you move, please. You're really going to make me. Did my rock go invisible? No, he got yeeted by that boy. <laughs> You're going to make me skill crane you. Boo. Boo. And boot. Sucks to be you, buddy. Alright, so if you noticed, I had a, like a cluster of chests over here. Uh, they were in shulker boxes. You stop. Also, I think I lost my second nymph. Wait, no, that's Mercy. Wait, do I have both of them? Wait, 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 where did the other guy go then? I broke that one out because he, he already escaped, but I don't... We lost one of them, and then I think what happened is he went out this way. So I, I built that in so that way they can't, you know, get out anymore. I also like how those have been messed up since like 10 episodes ago. I just haven't touched it. I really am just ready to move this house. I'm, I'm ready to get a real base. Um, so I have this chest full, this chest full, and I dumped a bunch in here. These are all crap enchants where instead of throwing them away, it's actually better to feed them to a bookworm. And I think you can feed him as much as you have in your inventory and he'll just poop them all out, which is really efficient and insane. Yeah, although I'm not sure what he's quite going to poop out, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna find a better one. And I have a couple of other defiled lands as well that I have on the map that we can go and hopefully find a nice golden variant and see if we can get like a good source of mending. I really want a good source of mending because then all of our armor is pretty much good. I don't even need to put unbreaking on the armor if we have mending, although I really should because it would make it more efficient. Um, so we got Slenderman that spawn in this biome at night, which is really annoying. Oh god, I, I really don't like those things either. You deserve to die. You killed me earlier. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Jerk. All right, you. Um, I can't. Ooh, you're trash. Any other boys? This kind of blows. Here's a baby. Can you, wait, he's not a baby. He's just regular. All right, enchanting level six. I'm not sure if that's good, but we've already got one, so... Those guys actually act like Slenderman. It's kind of disturbing. <gasps> Wait, was that... Oh, no! I just... Ha wow. Attacking when you're on a, on a flying mountain is really not accurate at all. We just killed the, the guy. I did have one that I was... Where'd he go? There's one over here, just kind of chilling. Are you? Alright, enchantment level 5. We'll take you. Since we can start mating and maybe get a chance at mating for some better ones. I love being able to skill crane stuff. And I know a lot of you have said that I should get something better than a rock as a flying mount. That went right through him. But uh, I, just, I just haven't found anything at the right time. So it kind of just is what it is, you know? Alright, so I was outside of your chunk. So you're not going to be producing, and I'm not, I'm not sure how to breed you guys. Um, so in the future, I'm going to have them in a nice little area, and then we're going to put like hoppers underneath them. That'd be super cool. How did you get out? You're just a nitwit anyways. You're probably going to die a miserable death. <laughs> you don't need to be here, especially not in there. Ooh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Cockatrice. Let's get that. I, I just, I was just talking about getting a new mount. Hold up, hold up. Um, where'd I put- where'd I put the avian treats? Oh, we do have nether wart, okay. Put them in the food chest for some odd reason. I think I did that. Ah, avian treats. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's move! Aw, oh, did he despawn? Where'd he go? Cocky boy? We're not calling him cocky boy. Aw, oh, he despawned! Ooh, hello. Ah, uh, they kind of suck, but I do want to kill them. 
Like, I can't even attack them. You guys have really crappy hitboxes, okay? Yeah, I think I'm learning that I can't really attack stuff on my rock anymore because I need a halberd to do that. Also, I should probably grab the halberd so that way I have both of them. Ooh, you guys pooping out stuff? What'd you poop out? Last guy was terrible. He pooped out protection one. That's not very good. You know. You can just re-eat that. Okay, he's dropping other stuff, so hopefully we can get some better variants. Um, real quick, I'm going to clear out my inventory and we're going to go to the other defiled lands and we're going to see if we can find any good ones there. Alright, so I found a better guide for the bookworms. Um, so bookworms have a level value, which is how many... It says the bookworm needs to digest before making an enchanted book. So three to six is the range for wild ones, six being the max. But I did just find a, a maxed one. However, you can breed them to be better, and you can have a maximum of 30 through breeding. Um, there is a 1% chance of it being a golden, and golden ones are what I'm looking for. Um, breeding two non-golden bookworms together has a 1% chance of a golden offspring. Just like the wild ones, this can be improved to 4% by having one of the parents be golden, and up to 10% by having both parents be golden. That's dope. Um, and then there's also uh, how much XP you feed them gets them their type. So I think if I feed them the trash books, they're just going to keep pooping out trash books. I think you need to feed them better books. Um, also, it says books can... Um, they, they're bred using foul candy. So I think I've gotten foul candy before. I swear... Um, how do I make foul candy? I think I use foul slime. But foul... It's this. Foul candy. Um, you need defilement powder, which comes from the mushrooms. So we'll get some of the mushrooms when we're over there. And then you need sugar. Okay, so... We need to kill more of the slimes, and we need to get more of the sugar. And we can make some of that. Let's see what they pooped out for me. Probably trash. Yeah, these are all... These are all trash. 100%. I think they're just going to keep pooping out trash books. Oh man, they, they are really pooping out trash books too. There's got to be something to do with these books besides just feed it to them. We're going to go to the other defiled land. Yeah, I think there's three defiled lands I know of. We're going to go to the one that I have on the map that's, um, it's like here, somewhere in here. So we're going to go to this village up here. Ooh, yeah, let's go to the village. Let's just fast travel to the village. Nice. All right, so we got a couple of guys here. He's bad. You guys take a little longer to digest, but you're level 6s. I don't- I really don't know, like... I think if I have two level 6s, that's fine. I think I just need to, like, start mating them with different trait ones. Also, unfortunately, I can't- I can't just sit here and, um, grab these mushrooms while I'm on my rock. It counts as breaking blocks, so I can't do that. Alright, so you, level 6, level 3. I think level 6 is just the best. Level 4, so... I've got two level 6s. So maybe I could just start breeding them. So essentially, I'm just here for the mushrooms then, and I'll probably drag back a level 6 while I'm at it. I wish there was an easier way to move, like, mobs through fart, like, giant distances. Otherwise, like, other than just dragging them with my rock all the way. Because if I do find my new base and it's, like, super mega far away, that's gonna suck. Ooh, I, I spy an opportunity for easy XP. It's a Blight Slime. Dude, with education, how much XP is this boy gonna give me? Level 17, so... Oh. He didn't give me any, that's so weird. Maybe it's because he, he spawned other slimes, so... You just felt the need to rip me off, apparently. You know, I'm really not used to the amount of, like, reach I don't have now that I'm not using a halberd. Halberds are for distance, but, like, I'm just not used to not having that distance anymore. I'll take you. I can make you into bronze. Bronze is decently rare. I haven't really gone mining yet, though. Ooh, there's also those. I'm not sure what these are for. So, I'm gonna take those as well. 
I've also taken a bunch of these things. Not sure what those do. Got my face, buddy. Also, that's the second time that's happened. Whenever killing those dudes, it kind of just spawns slimes out of them. And these slimes have really precise hitboxes. The small ones, like, big yikes trying to smack those boys. Aspids, I need your meat for battle burritos. I'm sorry. It did happen. Alright, how these, like, Slendermen just kind of casually like slide up to you really creeps me out i'm sorry aspid it had to be done however they drop black hearts what do black hearts do they've got to be used for something so a black heart can be used to make a oh oh you can use it for the healing pad calling stone wait right click an active conjuring altar to summon the destroyer Oh, and the Scarlet Ring slowly restores health. Ooh, okay. I also, I don't know what this does. I think these are the destroyer that it's talking about. Oh, you should not do what I just did. Luckily, I know of more of them, so it's it's okay. All right, so interesting little thing here. You um, you can totally get more XP from grinding in a Defiled Lands at night than you can from grinding a desert at night way more stuff spawns way more densely also i happen to have get I, I got a guy here that's got level six and he's only got only takes him like not that long takes him like 130 to digest that's great so we're gonna take him home and mate him with the other friends now that we have oh we've got so we've got so far to go also cool idea for a future episode but uh i wait am i oh it's a sea serpent i really want to kill it but i I can't. I, I can finally um do all the underwater stuff because this tide armor. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna mark this real quick. Defiled lands. What can I what can I mark this as? That looks like a dragon's nest over there. Defilled lands. Definitely didn't spell that right. Oh well, it's fine. That's what it is now. Oh, yep, that's a gray dragon. That's a gray dragon. We'll come back and kill him. I want his loot. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm carrying precious cargo here, so if you could not... Wait, what is that? Oh, they're just pumpkins. I thought it was a gold boy. Yeah, anyways, um, Tide Guardian armor gives me the ability to fully breathe underwater. I'm not a big fan of dragons clapping my cheeks or this weird chunk loading issue that happens. I love this mod, but there's just so many mods and different things that are set to spawn like set to generate whenever you generate new terrain that it just really it really slows down a game sometimes when you're like loading chunk after chunk after chunk i'm not gonna mark that tower i'm not really in a tower marking mood we're we'll just go straight home oh i see dragon oh it's that thing wait 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 wait, wait. no this is a different one no this is another one. Oh my god we have to mark this Lapis Lazuli! I did not spell any of that right, but I don't care. Lapis Lazuli! I think coming up, we really have to start going through and just wiping some of these markers off my map. Uh, we've got too many. We've got too many markers that I've marked and we haven't done yet. Oh, there's a green dragon. And a tower. Oh, why am I marking this? Yeah, so we're gonna come through, and now that we have punch, we could actually literally just eat these boys right off of... Oh, oh, he sees me. Please don't. Don't kill my friend. I need my friend. Jeez. Yeah, we can literally just use our pu advanced punch tubo to just instantly yeet them off of their towers. And loot the towers the easy way. Uh, we sacrifice a little bit of diamonds, you know, but that's not a big deal. I don't really care. It's like they really don't drop too many diamonds anyways, so not a big deal. Oh, we're flying directly towards a dragon. Another defiled lands? Ooh, it's a defiled swamp. That's awful. Oh, so we got another one of those, and we have whatever. Oh, there's two of three of them. I think those are what you put the keys into to summon whatever boss. Oh, there's four of them. Dude, this this is a big defiled lands. And then right next to it's a mob tower, dude. Insane. We've got so much stuff to come through and clear over here. 
it's it's absolutely unreal. Man, the amount of sea serpents I've passed that I really want to kill is not it's not cool. There's just so much stuff. Look at all this stuff. Okay, this is to my left, so it's right here. There's just so much stuff. We're gonna have to go back here and we're gonna have to do like a speed run, right? We're just gonna have to like knock out tower boss after tower boss, throw the stuff into chests, get tons of diamonds, and it's gonna be good. Diamonds and emeralds all day so I can make lots of beacons. You know, this takes twice as long whenever you have to stop and constantly mark stuff because they're flying over new territory. That's one thing that's just crazy about this mod. Like, I'm the type of person that'll stop, loot everything, battle everything. Oh, is that a new village? Oh, snap. Ah, oh, I want the waypoint. We'll get, we'll get the waypoint some other time because I have to drop him to do that. Not really about that life. But yeah, like, like you just saw. There's just so much stuff in this world that I can't fly for 10 seconds without marking something. 100%. Future episode, we're going on a tower run. Because I've, I've got too many towers marked on the map. I gotta blitz through all of them. We're literally just gonna fly up, shoot them off with the bow. Is that another Defiled Lands? Oh my god. Oh, it's got one of those! See, Defiled Lands has a bunch of those, like, little waypoint... They're not waypoints. I don't know what they are. Those things, to, to the left of me. And I think they're what you use to spawn a boss. And if that's the case, then I can spawn a lot of bosses. I'm also casually just kind of looking down to see if I see any... Oh, there's a gray dragon. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a gray dragon. There's a village. And there's a mob tower. Hold up. Oh, wow. That looks really cool sitting in the middle of a defiled land. Not gonna lie. Also, I, I don't really need Grey Dragons as much anymore, but I mean, I do still have a Grey chest piece. So I- what is that? What the hell is this thing? What is it made out of? That's definitely quartz. There's some kind of light in there? I don't- I don't know what this thing is. I'm just gonna name it, uh, question mark. And yeah, we're gonna have to- we really have to clean up our map. Our map has so much random crap on it. No, 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 no! Are you- oh, are you kidding me? Alright, he's dying. That dragon's dying. That's his death wish. You just- Do you know how long I have been flying for? And I hit pause on the recording, so you didn't even get to see it! Look, the sky's blood red with this dragon. Dude! This stupid little punk dragon. Nah, we not playing that. Uh-uh. You wait till I can resell my mount. You wait. You you freaking wait, dude. You wait. You wait for these two little things of mana to pop up. And you're dead, dragon. I'm done. I... Dude, he was great. It's not the biggest deal. You know, he had a little bit faster digestion than other... Can you... Rock. Rock, what, what are you doing? Come on. Nah, this... Dragon is dead. Where, where is he? It's not the bronze one over there. It's, it's this gray one popping shots at me. Where'd he go? Oh, you're dead, buddy. Where are you? Come on, man. Show yourself. You know how long I was traveling with that guy? I had a name thought out for him and everything. Oh, wait. I can actually just... Wow. I don't know how this bow... Oh, wow. Dude, this bow is fire! I was gonna summon mounts, but let's see how many shots it takes to kill this guy. Oh, <gasps> he's dead! What? Dude, what? This bow, like, five shot the guy! Are you kidding me? Dude, what? Give me flesh. Oh, I have too much crap on me. Oh, uh, I'm scared of that. I would like all of your... Uh, where's his scales? Alright, here's some scales. Uh, I don't need rotten flesh on me. Uh, 16 scales? That can't be it. You must have dropped some. I want his heart. I need his heart. I'm gonna eat his heart specifically out of spite. No, not the stu... That's annoying. 
Give me his heart. Thank you, jeez. Is that all the scales he dropped? All right, well, that's awesome. I'm glad he wasted all of my time there. You know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to go kill his friend too. Just cuz I want to see how many shots. Like, I want to count the number of shots this for this bow. Where where did the other dragon go? Also, I'm not sure if it was the gray one that killed that killed my friend or if it was Where did It's not over here. Where's the, where's the bronze one? Ah. Uh, what is What is that? What is this beautiful structure that I've never seen in RL crap? Also, I don't know where the dragon is. I, I don't know where the bronze boy is. I hope he's not going to burn this down. Oh, look, another defiled lands. Maybe we can find another one. Dude, what is this structure, though? It's really pretty, but I mean, it's made entirely of wood, which is... In RL craft, I know my house is made of wood, but it's just begging for trouble. Real question is, does it have any chests? Do you have any chests inside of you? It looks like no. It looks like it's... It's really cool. It's pretty. It's just... Got no value and no use. Part of me wants to burn it down. I wanted to kill the dragon. I, I don't know where the other one went, though. That's fine. That's fine. We'll see if we can find another new friend over here. Hi, friend. You've got really good digesting time. But you're not level 6. Man, that guy really was the cream of the crop. Okay, let's just... I guess now I could just recall potion. I mean, I'm so close to home, I might as well not waste it, though. What about you? Level 3, trash. Level 4, but you're a baby. Level 4, ooh. And I don't, I don't need, I don't need you. Let's, let's go. Let's go home. How far are we from home? We're like, like right there. Oh wow, it's literally, wait, what? The, there's a defiled lands this close to my house? What? Oh no, I'm just an idiot and I did a full like 360 and went back to the one that I was just at. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, you guys are just dropping a bunch of trash enchantments, huh? So we're gonna make, let's okay, turn that off. We're gonna make, we're gonna clean out our inventory first, and then we're gonna make a bunch of foul candies and start breeding them, see if we can get, see if we can get them, you know, looking good. Alright, so we can now make, well, these make three each. Ooh, we've got plenty, okay. Nice, dude, we've got almost two stacks. Alright, I'm assuming it takes only one each. Oh, you guys have really been pooping out books, huh? Oh, you also follow me for this, huh? Nice. Make baby. Smell of love. Ooh! Your baby's level 7! Alright! Can you guys make another baby? That's kind of like other animals. Nice, dude! Enchanting time... Well, maturation, 20 minutes. Oh, that's that's rough. So we can get better ones and then just keep mating them up from there. And just give them different stuff. So we're going to definitely need more than one then. So we can, like, have the, those two are level 6. And that one's level 7. So if he breeds with a level 6... Hopefully it's not going to be... Hopefully they have a chance of, like, jumping faster up in levels, you know? Currently digesting 40 levels. Time until next possible reproduction, five minutes. Let's um, let's give them better, better books. Let's give them like, stuff like this. Like Luck of the Sea 3, I'm not gonna go fishing. Um, give them that one. Protection 3, Lightweight 2, Sharpness 3. Give them stuff like that and see what they do with that. We're gonna get rid of these dumpy ones. So I guess this is gonna be a casual thing. We're gonna have to casually start building these guys up as we go. I don't know if they're safe in there like that. I mean, if any event happens, they're probably gonna die. I don't... I could build them like a little hut or something, but maybe... I don't know. I need to find a new place to live, that's for sure. This, this place is not... 
it's not quite doing it for me. Plus, I really don't have any storage. My my storage is so messed up. I really I really need better storage. So based off of the description they gave, I think I think what it means. You see, like currently digesting. 251 levels. That's how many levels I've given him. And his enchanting level is 5. And the max is 30, right? So that's just like an actual level. Like an enchantment table. So once I get him to level 30, once I get a level 31, they will start pooping out level 30 enchantments. So they'll, they'll poop out really good enchantments. And then if I can get a bunch of those together, you know, like start mating a bunch of level 30s, they will be super valuable. So right now he's digesting 251 levels, which is kind of worthless because he produces enchantment level 5. So he's going to be producing books for a while since he can't produce anything better. But I think I get how it works now. So essentially you could feed him a bunch of trash books and he'd poop out a good book if he was good, that is. I'm also curious if that time till maturation counts when I'm not inside the chunk. Because if I'm not inside the chunk, then and it doesn't count, then that's that really sucks. I'm gonna take the Unbreaking 1, I think? Yeah, because at this point, it'd be cheaper to make Unbreaking 3 this way, rather than wasting them. Because I need to be really careful what I use my levels on. There's so much stuff to use your levels on now. I need to put Unbreaking on all of my armor. I mean, if I have Mending, I technically don't need Unbreaking, but that'll... I'm, I'm noticing, like, an effect of how much my Mending is eating of my levels. It's not a ton, but it is noticeable. Yeah, so even though I fed him good books, that's why he had so many levels. He's not going to produce anything that good. I love how it makes a burp noise every time you feed him. But yeah, they're just going to keep producing crap books because they're crap. No offense, guys. See? Poopy book. Poopy book. Here, eat the poop book. But this guy, this guy can generate level 7 stuff, so I need to wait for him to mature. And we can really get this farm going. So in the future, we'll have level 30 enchants and they'll just pop them out so I can stop wasting all my levels on that. And I can start using my levels on other stuff like um, leveling up my skills and enchanting, or sorry, leveling up my these, like my um, these type of skills as well. Because there's some pretty good ones here. Like this one, like decreases fall damage. Even though I have, you know, really good boots still. And this one, ooh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Sprint speed? Hell yeah. Dude, five per level? That's 15% sprint speed default. Oh, I'm noticeably faster. I'm almost as fast as I was now. Oh look, another Scarlet Rock. You get out of my face. Should I even I'm not gonna get the Scarlet Rock. I don't need it. I don't need more rocks. I need different types of mobs. I'm really scared that these guys are going to get eaten. I should probably build them like a nice little hut. This is literally the coolest thing. Like, I'm just thinking about the possible implications for this. And it's going to be so dope. Alright, this is this is kind of a pain. Oh! What the hell? Oh, it was that creeper? Yeah, these guys are not safe. Are, are you for real right now? Sorry, Rock. I wanted you to be my friend. I was tempted, but nah. Alright, we need to be on our Rock. I can't build like this. But yeah, the implications on this, I can make like an auto farm, essentially. I could have level 30 guys pooping out enchants. I could feed them tons of enchantment books. And I can put them on top of hoppers. And they could just put the enchantment books into the hoppers. Alright, so I made this kind of dumpy looking little like hut thing. And in the center, it's got... Nice trap door that I can just jump out of, you know. Um, but our friend is fully mature now, so we can actually... Oh, I, I put the food away. Hold up. I will be right back, friendo. I gotta go get your food. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the outside. It's nothing pretty, but like I said, we are... We do plan on leaving this place, so it's not the biggest deal. My inventory space, however, is quite a big problem. Alright, let's get these guys. I had to figure out which one's which first. I don't know. I think it's him. No, you're level 6. You're the level 7 one, so... We're gonna mate you with you. And see what level the baby ends up being. Oh no, is that really how it's gonna be? Oh, his digesting time is tiny though. 
Yeah, so it looks like we have to breed a level. This is this is awful. So yeah, it looks like we have to breed each level again to make the next level. So two sevens make an eight, two eights make a nine. Oh, this is gonna be a fun farm, but we're gonna we're gonna work on this throughout the the series, and we're gonna get a crazy good farm, and we're gonna make it bigger, and we'll eventually when we get level nine or sorry level thirties. We'll just kind of box them off, put them on top of hoppers, and make a nice little room to feed them. Along with our villager farm, we'll add it to that. And that'll be like our overall giant network of like enchantments, which is going to be pretty great. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you did like the series, if you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. This has been Pain Domination. Looking really good, actually. I'm so happy with how my character looks and how this world's going. Like, this is great. This is great, guys. I hope you enjoy the series. Anyways, this has been Pain Nomination, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.